What's up guys, it's your boy Gang. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the best front loader tractors for under $20,000. Um, I play, I've played a lot of small maps and growing in the small maps are pretty hard because the, the cost of the, the, the crops, you know, what you get from it in terms of after selling it is not a lot of money as well as the um, contracts, they probably don't pay out a lot. Um, one, of the, one of the series I did was on the Kijoic map and it was, it, was, it was really hard trying to get, you know, further and progressing because of the cost of the, the equipment versus the money that was coming in. So I ended up, you know, purchasing, downloading a mod and using it as a tractor versus the in-game. So all of these are, are mods, they're not base game tractors at all. Um, these are ones that I have tested and used. These might not be the best ones, but these are the ones that I would recommend. So first off, which is the cheapest of the entire set, is the um, this is the Ferguson tractor pack. It comes with three um, three tractors. It comes with the it comes with the TA the TEA twenty, and then the half track as well as the tandem. The reason I didn't put the tandem in this one is because. The tandem doesn't allow for a front loader implementation. The um, the cost of the regular the, the regular TA is twenty five hundred dollars, and the cost of the twenty the, the half track is twenty eight hundred dollars. So those are pretty cheap tractors. The downside to these tractors is pulling power isn't good. And when I was playing on Kijoic, I found a lot of issues with um, getting them up a hill. So we can take a quick look at the the specs on this on this tractor right here. So as you can see, it's only 23 horsepower, which is nothing. Top speed is 30 miles per hour. It sounds like it would be reasonable for a small map, but even for a map the size of Kajoic, it was not the best map. It was not the best tractor. Um, you can start with it, see if you can work your way up. Um, next, we have the, I believe that is the Fiat 6566, and that's the, the, both of those series are pretty good. Um, this tractor, it costs, let's check the cost out really quickly. I think this one is about eight or $10,000. Yeah, it's 8,500 for the base. Both models have a front loader implementation, which is pretty good. Um, the next one we'll look at is the, in, in, in um, on console, this is branded as the Lizard 445DT. This one I believe is like 14,000. Let's take a look here. It's 8,000. Um, horsepower is 45, which is good. Top speed is 17. And that is less horsepower than the, um, the Fiat 65, 66, but a better top, no, same top speed, but less horsepower. So uh, this would be a good option as well because pulling power and top speed is not bad. But I think the Fiat 65, 66 out of the three sets so far would probably be the best one. The Urus is the most expensive, so we're going to leave that for last. I actually did a um, review on this one right here, which is the Fiat, the Fent, 20, the, 20, the Fent 250 GT. My apologies. I just butchered that one completely. Um, this one is, is one of my favorites because it's unique in terms of how the implementations or attachments go on it but this one is 14,500 for the base and that comes with nothing no front load or anything but it's a pretty solid tractor you know it it works for me the most expensive one on it let's see the, the before we do that 45 horsepower and 90 miles per hour so it, it is the fastest out of the all of the ones that we looked at so far but the last one and the most expensive one is the Urus it's $18,000 to purchase initially um, 45 miles per hour and the top speed is 17 so out of all of these I would think that in terms of speed the um, Fent 250 GT would be the best one um, because it's 19 miles per hour and it's, it's they're in the same region in terms of um, every single one of them except for the Ferguson's they're in the same region of um, horsepower but I think my top pick definitely would be the um, the Fent 250 GT as it has the highest top speed and sometimes when you're moving crops from point to point you need to have that speed 
um, it makes the game go by a bit quicker, especially if you're doing a Let's Play series and you're, you know, trying to get something across to your audience if you're recording or if you're just trying to play by yourself and get it done quickly. This would probably be the best bet. So if I was to categorize it as the best pick for me would be this one right here, which is the Fent 250 GT. The most affordable and budget one would be the one from the Ferguson pack for $2,500. This could be a starter and then you work your way up to the rest of them. All the others in between are not bad tractors at all. They are pretty functional and they work well for the price. The most expensive one being this is probably the one I would not purchase per se. It looks good. The detail on it is pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do is have links below to all of these in the, the description of the video and um, if you guys did like this video please go ahead hit the like button if you want to stay up to date with us going on please subscribe hit the bell beside the subscribe button and if you have any tips comments suggestions or have any mods that you guys want to see tested please go ahead leave a comment below and i get back to each and every one of you guys thanks again for watching